The fill out form portal is an easy way to streamline client onboarding and give your users one single place to submit and update information. Today, I'm going to walk you through some of the main highlights of the form portal with a sample scenario. In this case, suppose I run a partner program for my business where we have hundreds of companies applying to become official partners listed on our website. To actually approve them, I want to give them a slight overview of the program and I need to collect information like assets, logos, and also have security related questionnaires. Typically, I manage this through just emails and spreadsheets and it gets really out of hand quickly. So let's see how we can accomplish this with a form portal. First, we're going to head to fillout.com and we're going to log in and click on form portal on the left hand side here. We're going to create a portal and give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to say my brand is partners. Let's create the portal and we are in the actual main editor for the portal. On the right hand side here, we can see a preview of what it's going to look like. And on the left hand side, we can configure what actually goes in the portal. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to add an onboarding task. So these are tasks that users have to complete one time when they first onboard into our portal. I'll add a generic instructions task, meaning I just want users to read some sort of information to understand what my program is about. I'll paste that in here and create the task. And we can see that now on our actual portal. I'll go ahead and add a few more. So I'll add a video that I need them to watch, for example, some security compliance related video. And I'll also require them to schedule a meeting with me because I want to meet with all of my partners. And all three of these now appear in my portal here. And I'll call this section onboarding. I'll add a new section where I actually start collecting information from users. Remember, I wanted to have assets and I wanted to fill out a security questionnaire. So I'll ask them to fill out a form. We get the full benefits of the fill out form editor, which is really powerful and lets you create very custom forms. And we get to assign users those forms in the portals here. So I'll pick from the ones that I've made for this portal. I have my assets upload form. And I also have the security questionnaire that I mentioned. The last thing I'll do for this portal is I want a sticky feedback form that users can fill out whenever they have something that they want to share with me. It's a little bit different than an onboarding task because onboarding tasks, I only require users to fill out one time. Whereas this form, I want to always be available in the portal. So let's head to the available form section and let's do that. Let's add a feedback form, which I've created previously. Now we can see it appears in a separate section and users will be able to fill it out whenever they want to. I'll save these changes now and let's head over to the users tab. Here we can see the users tab. On this tab, we have a list of all of the users that are currently using our portal, what they're doing on the portal, what they've filled out so far. And we can also add new users by either inviting them by email one by one or doing a bulk import. But I really want to show you how we can invite users to our portal without us even having to email them one by one. Here's a generic link to our portal that we can open up. And what we get here is actually a login screen. I don't have an account yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the sign up button and I'm going to fill out my details here. I'll enter my email and as soon as I do so, it'll send me an email with a magic link to log in. Here we can see we have that email here and I'll go ahead and click on that. And there we go. I'm logged into the portal. So this is all we saw that we set up before. We have the onboarding tasks here and we have our feedback form here. Let's fill out some of these. So I'm going to mark the instructions as done. Um, I could book a meeting if I wanted to at this point, or I could watch this video on GDPR compliance, but I'll fill out one of these forms just as an example. So this is my asset upload form. I'm going to go ahead and upload my logos and I'll provide some descriptions. So once I'm ready, I'll submit that. And we can see this task is completed in the portal. If I want, I can always come back and actually update my submission. So if I click on update form here, it'll load in the previous submission that I already had. So I can go in and update my uh, information without ever having to contact the user who set up this portal in the first place. 
I can also go ahead and click on this available form section and provide some feedback. So let's just provide some sample feedback here. And once we go to the completed tasks section, we'll see all of our past submissions here and we can edit them here as well. So this is my feedback that I just submit. And if I go ahead and click edit, I can you know, change that and it will be reflected in both fill out's results page and also in any integrations that I have connected to these forms in fill out. So now if I head over back to my admin view and I refresh the page to see this new active user, which is me, I can go ahead and see the status of all of my tasks. So I can see that I haven't completed all of my onboarding tasks yet. And I can view the submissions in fill out. So I can open this up and it'll show me the actual submission that I had for those forms. And what's even better is I can even log into the portal as myself. So I can get a magic link to view what the portal looks like for the person and see if they're seeing something different on their end and where they're at and if I need to do anything um, actionable on their end. So those are the main highlights of how to use the form portal. You can create and edit your portal. You can view users, you can manage them and import them. And you can also edit your portal even after you've sent it out to users and have them passively collect information for you. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'm excited to see what you build with the form portal.